Welcome to Corel Video Studio Pro X2 Tutorials. Okay, in the preferences dialog box under the general tab, certain things needs to be checked. I have checked all these four undo, relink checking, show startup screen, show MPEG optimizer dialog box. It's up to you what you want to check, but I will say this undo box is important. Make sure it is checked and you can control the number of undos and redos by adjusting the number here. I have it at 99, but you can reduce it to any number you want. I prefer to keep it at 99, which is the maximum. But remember, the higher the number there, you are using the computer's resources. It takes tremendous memory uh, to remember all those undo redo steps. <clears throat> so keep it somewhere in the middle, maybe 50, 40, something like that. And the other important thing to remember is in this playback method uh, box, keep it at instant playback. Instant playback meaning it is using lower resolution pictures, it is faster. If you want high resolution, high quality, you can do that, but it will take more time and again it's a draining on your resources. Even if you do for instant playback, in your final product, when you make the final uh, video file, it will be in the high quality, of course. And there is one more thing that I prefer to do, this box here. Automatically save project. And you can specify how often. I have specified five minutes. There is one more thing that I would like to show you. <coughs> default inserted image slash color clip duration. Uh, I think uh, Video Studio puts the default at five. I increased uh, at three seconds. I increased it to five. You can do it six seconds, 10 seconds, whatever you want. But my choice is five. So that's one thing that you can do. This is how you are customizing your own software, okay? So that's about it. Now about the screen itself. This is the play playback screen. Whatever video you are inserting or uh, bringing to the software, you can play it back. It has the usual buttons like your DVD player or VCR or whatever it is called, old type of VCR uh, uh, players. Uh, you can play then you can stop using these buttons you can go to the first frame or you can go to the last frame you can rewind and all those kinds of things there is nothing there so it's not doing anything right now but it can be done this is the so-called library that's where you store your video clips audio clips images and all those things uh, uh, one trick to remember here, see these double arrows here, if you click on it, you can see a bigger part of the library all at once. See, this is kind of easy, but the disadvantage is when you do it big, you are covering up this area where you have to work. So, do whatever is good for you. And this part in the bottom is actually the different layout tracks like first uh, if I click here that's the storyline track or whatever it is called uh, then this is the timeline this is where you can control the audio and all that so I prefer to keep it at storyline when I'm bringing video clips into this place to do the editing but if you click on timeline, it gives the complete uh, picture. The first one is your for video clips. This is for your overlay track. The third one is title track. Then if you want voice recording or narration, that's where it is put. And the last one is for music. But let me quickly tell you, this can be changed also. You just click here, track manager. And you can add more tracks if you need, for example, three overlay tracks. You check on these, 
if you need two title tracks you check on that and click OK and see these have increased you have to scroll this down right here and you will see now we have two title tracks three overlay tracks and video track and all that but the default is uh, one video track I'll bring back the default uh, we do not need too many overlay tracks we do not need too many title tracks but we do need a voice track and a music track so I click there and that's the default five tracks there okay so I think I'll stop here for today uh, we'll continue in our uh, next uh, video about the actual editings thank you for watching are you with me